Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here, and I've got part two of cleaning and restoring the Mosin Nagant. Okay, so in the first video you saw that I cleaned the finish off and the cosmoline off of the stock and got it down to the bare wood. You also saw that I went ahead and decided against the traditional min wood stain and I got Watco Danish oil and a dark walnut. So that was recommended to me. So um, I went ahead and used uh, an, an applicator, the sponge applicator, sponge applicator, okay. And the reason why I chose that, it was recommended in another video. And uh, while bristle brushes are fine, and you know, it's, it's supposed to, you're supposed to use that to apply paints and oils and things like that, but bristle brushes leave a streak because of the bristles. A sponge does not so that's why I opted for the sponge so the first thing I did with the stock afterwards was I did take my double lot um, steel wool here it is a well used portion of it and I rubbed the entire stock down um, I was surprised never used it before uh, and I was very surprised at the result um, there wasn't a whole lot of sawdust all over the place like you know you would think with sandpaper um, but it smoothed out the stock real well and got rid of little burrs that um, that occurred after wetting the rifle down or the stock down and scrubbing it with you know this scotch pad. So anyway, uh, I did get it down uh, real nice and fine, and um, you know I wiped down the rifle or the the stock and I applied the Watco Danish oil. Okay. Now here, if you remember the previous video, how light the wood is, now check this out. This is the upper forearm. Okay, it's pretty dark. Got it. You now I got a light right here. You can kind of see it. All right. That's the inside. Okay. Um, I I couldn't resist with the ballastol. I did put ballastol on the inner part of this, because uh, remember my concern was if I put ballastol on and then put the Watco oil on. I didn't know if the Watco would roll off or discolor or apply like in patches because of the ballastol. Um, I figured if I did it to the in, inner part of the wood, then if it messes up, no one's gonna see it because it'll be hidden. So I was pretty pleased to find out that it did not really affect it. It's pretty even, not too bad. I think any discolorations I mean it's not 100% even you know even color you know like the black on this mallet I mean it's not it's not uh, you know straight up walnut brown because I think um, you know soft spots in the wood the absorption you know rate of the wood um, would determine the darkness of the oil so so anyway but it's it's pretty good and you know it's not meant to be perfect it's meant to be stained and neat looking and that's how it looks okay so this is kinda of dark because I forgot about this I, I applied a lot of oil on it and I left it and I forgot to pick it up after a half an hour and wipe it off so as a result a lot of extra oil absorbed in this which is probably why it's dark I'll show you why here's the stock Look how nice that came out. I mean, this is good color right here. However, it is lighter than the upper form. See that? This is pretty good. And uh, again, those of you with a discerning eye, I left the metal retention clips on here, as well as these little metal buttons in here. And uh, that's because the oil doesn't affect it. It wipes right off. Uh, and um, I was too lazy to find a tool to take it out. So, but it, you know, it doesn't affect it. It's still nice. But check this out. Here's a difference. See how different, how darker the upper forearm is. So, if you, if it's put back together again, I mean, not too bad. But you can see that there's a difference. So, and that's because I forgot about the upper forearm and, uh, you know, stupidly left it and 
now it's darker. But uh, I'm hoping that with more applications of the stain, of the oil, uh, this will catch up and get darker. So this is only one coat. And uh, you can see on the inside, I did coat the inside first with ballastol, just like what I did with the upper forearm. And look how nice it is in there. So obviously the stain did not get affected by the ballastol. So that's good. And that's okay, you know, I, I could have treated the entire stock with ballastol, but I took it, I would be taking a chance on having, you know, this stock look like it had a disease or something if, if, it, if the oil stain went on patchy like so, but went on pretty well and I did apply it, you know, on here and it looks real nice. So, gosh, I, you know, I wish I, I had, before and after pictures that I can put on here. I don't have that much technology on my hands, but you'd have to look at the previous video to see just how light this wood ended up after I stripped it. So anyway, this is the stock. I'll have another update um, after another staining, and hopefully it'll catch up to this upper form. So uh, anyway, uh, take care. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.